Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can uh, make your own ad on Roblox. Um, for this one, it's going to be for your Roblox group. So obviously, if uh, you don't have a group, then this is not going to be the video for you. But do not worry guys, because I'm going to be making more uh, advertisement. Uh, making type of videos again to I guess you can say in the future right so if you guys want more then make sure you do leave a like on today's video alright so um, uh, I'd like to warn you guys that you do need at least five or more robux in order to do this alright if you guys don't have robux you can go down in the description below and join my group because I do give out robux um, once I reach certain milestones maybe so yeah um make sure you guys start now by subscribing because i do stream every single day so if you guys want to you know join the stream and stuff like that now's your best time to do that uh anyways let's get into the video so the first thing you obviously want to do uh you want to go to your roblox studio so i'll see you guys there okay now that we are here in our roblox studio um, just make sure you're on new by the way, and you want to pick base plate. Just wait for the place to load, and there you go. Now you are in the base plate. Now, the first thing you guys want to do, or uh, yeah, the first thing you want to do is you have to make sure that you have these three things out. Um, when you first launch, or if you never use Roblox Studio, alright, uh, Toolbox should already be a thing, right? So you should already have Toolbox, so you don't have to worry about that. Although you might not have Explorer or Properties, so if you guys don't have Explorer or Properties, you guys don't know how to, you know, get it, this is how you get it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your uh, View tab on the top, and then there you go, on the left it's going to show your Explorer and Properties right there. Anyways... The first step on making your cool ad is that you want to go to your toolbox, obviously. Now, you can see that it's going to show models right here. You're going to click on that little arrow, alright? And if you go down, it's going to say plugins. You click on plugins, and uh, there you go. Now, the thing you want to search for is going to be called load character. So you need to wait for this load, and there's one that costs 25 Robux, but do not buy this one, alright? Just buy the one that's free, alright? Just install the free one. And there you go. Now, after you install it, if you go to plugins, it should show their load character. Now, the next thing you want to do is that you want to uh, click on the drop-down arrow again, right next to plugins. And you're gonna go back to models. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do is search up green screen. Alright, make sure it's the first one right here. If it is the right one, your sky should now be green. Now, this is where we go to our plugins on the top over here. And then we can click on load character. All right. Now before we do anything here, uh, we're gonna go to a to our Roblox avatar. All right. So I'll see you guys there. All right. We are here in our Roblox character. Now we want to customize this character a little bit. Um. So, uh, we can put them in our advertisement. Alright, so uh, the first thing you guys want to do is you want to take off these uh, packages, aka these body parts. So you have like the Roblox Empire part or something like that, you might want to take those off. So I'm going to do that. So, yeah, okay, there you go. You should look like this. Um, you should have the normal Robloxian um, package. Awesome. Now, you want to wear the hoodie that you want in your ad. So, 
I'm going to pick the donut hoodie for now. And there you go. Now, after that, your character should be all set. So you're going to go back to Roblox Studio. After you're back in Roblox Studio, um, you might need to click on load character again, but if not, then continue. Uh, if you want to erase this, and you want to put our name on it. Click on spawn R6. And there you go. We are we have spawned our character. Now, what we want to do is that we want to adjust the camera um, where it's facing the hoodie itself. Right? So, like, somewhere right there. That should be perfect. Awesome. Now, what we want to do is that we want to go to our explorer. Alright? And there's going to be an option where we can take off the base plate. Alright? So, you're going to right click on base plate. And you're going to click on delete. There you go. Now the background should now be green. Alright, so you want to click on your character over here. And as you can see, there's these whole little options. Um, you just want to take out um, the mesh parts. So just delete those, take off the head. the humanoid root part, and both of the legs. There you go. Now you just have the body. Now, what we're going to be doing next is that we're going to be taking a screenshot of this. So you're going to go to view up here, and you're going to click on screenshot. Alright, so after you have that done, you're going to do, um, you're going to do one more. Alright, you're going to do one more. Uh, hoodie, and you're going to see why at the end. Alright, so make sure you do uh, stay tuned to the end so you see the results and how everything would actually look after you're done. So you want to go back to your uh, Roblox and you want to change the shirt or the hoodie that you're wearing. Go back to Roblox Studio and you just want to repeat the same process. You just need to go plug in, load character, put your name, you know, all that good stuff. There you go. And then you again go to view up here and you take a screenshot. Alright, and you should be done with Roblox Studio. So you can just um, leave from that. And we're going to be going to uh, step two, I guess you could say, in this. And uh, it's going to send you to a link. So click on the link and I'll see you guys there. Alright, so you should be taken into this page. It's going to be called uh, pixel.com slash editor. So make sure you go to that website. And now you want to scroll down to over here where it says looking for other pixel editors. You're going to click on the one on the left that says pixel editor. Right, after you click on that, you want to go back to your Roblox because we're actually going to be taking the resolution. Oh, well, actually, I already have the resolution, so um, you need to do that. But if you guys uh, want to, because um, for this video, I'm going to be doing the banner. The banner is just going to be the, uh, the advertisement you see on the top of your screen. So if you're doing a skyscraper or a square, a square would be on the bottom, a skyscraper would be the advertisement all the way on the right or all the way on the left. Alright, so you might want to find the resolution for that, except uh, for a banner. If you guys are using a banner as your advertisement, then uh, you should be good. So you want to click on create a new image. Alright, there you go. Now... You want to change your resolution 
to 728 by 90. Click on transparent, click OK, and then there you go. Now you have your banner. All right. So the first thing you guys want to do is uh, on the top right here, it's going to say layers. You just click on that. And now, the next thing you want to click on is right here where it says open image as layer. There you go, and now you just find your shirts. There you go, it might be green. All right, so we need to adjust this. So if you guys need to adjust it, just go on the top left over here where it says edit. And then it's gonna say tr uh, free transform. You're gonna click on that. And there you go, we can adjust our image. You wanna hold shift. So we can bring it down the size and you want it. Uh, I'm gonna have it at least right over here, perfect. Have it a little bit bigger. Click yes. Awesome. Now if you can use your scroll wheel, you can actually adjust it, uh, what's it called, its size without messing its actual size, that doesn't make any sense. You just zoom in without messing with its size. So there you go. Now you can see you can see all this green here. So if you guys want to fix that, uh, go to your wand tool. Your wand tool is just going to be right here. It's going to show a little wand icon. Click on that, and then you're going to click on uh, the green background. Just click on that. After it's selected, you want to click on uh, your delete button, or um, in this case, backspace. And there you go. There could be some green. So you're just going to click on those. And just repeat it. You just press delete and stuff like that. If you make your character green, um, you can actually take some of this, uh, what's it called, off so it can only show the hoodie itself. There you go. It could be a little bit uh, a little bit of green on top, but if you go back to here, yeah, there you go. It's not even visible, so that we should be good, anyways. All right, so you're gonna be doing the same thing with the uh, other layers. So again, I just click on layers, open image as layer, pick the other shirt, click open. Gonna show this, you just go to your edit, free transform, hold shift, uh, bring it down the size, and there you go. Zoom in, and you just repeat the same step. You go to your wand tool, you click on the image, and you press delete. There you go, now you should be good. All right, awesome. Um, this looks really good so far. Um, next thing you wanna do is that you wanna pick your background. So you can just go to a new tab and just uh, pick whatever background you want. I think I'm gonna use this one. This image looks um, looks amazing. All right, so just like how you did to the hoodies or the shirts, 
uh, you're just gonna go to layer, you know, open image as layer, then you're gonna search it up. Now, oh my god, in this case, um, you can see that's like this. Now, instead of um, going to your layers and changing its adjustment, which you can do, um, I'm just going to keep it like this. Yeah, this should be good. Um, you can see that it's overlapping, I guess you can say, uh, all the other layers. So over here, all the way on the right, is uh, it should show you your layers. You can actually click and drag this downwards. There you go. Now, uh, these two layers are on top of your background. And the cool thing about this is that since you have only your background layer selected, you can only adjust your, what's it called? So that's pretty cool. All right, awesome. So I'm just going to adjust this. I'm going to bring it down here. Perfect. All right, awesome. Um, if you want to make your background look even more cool, you can go to Adjust and Filter. Um, with Adjust, you can change it to click on Colorize, so it's this all oh, the same color. Or not. Yeah, you can just mess around with this if you want to. You know, mess with the saturation. There you go. Um, if you go to filter, you can make a, a box blur, which is this thing. And there you go. Now this can get uh, even more cool. Um, the next thing you guys want to do actually is that you want to click on your hoodie layer, I guess you can say, the layer of your hoodie. In this case, this is the donut one, since so you can see this one's on the left. So this is the donuts. You're going to right click on your layer here. Now it's going to say layer styles. If you click on layer styles, you can have all of these options. Now you can have outer glow, as you can see, outer glow makes, uh, which is of course the uh, um, the outline, I guess you can say, of the hoodie. So you can mess with that. Um, you can make whatever color. You can make it gold, um, black. In this case, I'll just make it white. There you go. Um, so what you can do is that you have the inner glow, which is uh, this. It's not even that good. I don't really like it. But you can mess with that. Make it look... You can actually make the shirt when I look a little bit more professional if you do that. Um, there's this thing. Bevel. And you can make it look like that, I guess you can say. You know. Looks pretty cool now. Or you can have inner shadow, which is just the shadow, really, of it. And, to put it. and then there's the drop shadow, which is, of course, um, the shadow of the thing. Which you don't need. Just gonna have it like that. That looks really cool. I'm gonna do the same thing with the... Uh, one on the right, go to layer styles, go to outer glow, you know, do all that cool stuff. Beautiful. Awesome. Now you want a text. Um, what I would actually put, instead of putting your, uh, your group name, I would actually put something like all for five Robux or just five Robux each, you know, something like that. Um, if you go to the description below, it's going to be called the fonts. If you guys don't know what the fonts is, it's basically just um, a lot and a lot of cool text. 
keep in mind they're dot zip files so if you're using like PNG if you're using like uh, um, what's it called I don't think it would work right these are not PNG files these are dot zip files um, so if you guys are using paint on that which by the way we're not even doing I don't know why I'm bringing that up but it doesn't even matter um, just 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 something for the future if you guys use paint on that um, anyways uh, I'm just gonna put five robux right here there we go five robux each now I can just change the color I'm gonna make it white let's see here I think I have true lies there you go let me just center this because if I have it like this uh, oof yeah as you can see it cuts off some of the what's it called so I have it like in the middle like that You guys don't want anything too big, alright? Just keep it simple, keep it short, right? Keep it small, as you can see. You don't have, you don't see my text, you know, like this big, like this covering the whole screen. No, just keep it simple, guys, alright? Just keep it like 34. There you go, perfect. Um, so there you go. Um, you can do the same thing with the text as here. You can go to layer styles, um, outer glow, you know, make it black if you guys want to, you know, all of that cool stuff. Or if you guys want to, you guys can make it, uh, green. In this case, I'm just going to make it black. and uh, there you go um, as you can see this came out really well um, it was 100% worth as you can uh, see and now we're going to upload this so if you guys want to upload your cool looking uh, what's it called your advertisement as I used to say you can go to file right here and then you can uh, click on save um, make sure you save it as a PNG so it's transparent and it's full quality so that everyone can see it well and you know it just looks more professional alright you're gonna, I'm gonna change this to uh, add YouTube Roblox there you go save it beautiful now we're gonna go on Roblox. You can just close out of that. All right, beautiful, awesome. Uh, now if you guys want to upload this, you're gonna go to your group. You're just gonna go to the group that you want to advertise specifically, and you're just gonna click on the three little dots over here, all the way on the right, top right, um, and then you can see advertise group. You just click on that. Just keep in mind, if you guys do, if you guys uh, do not have uh, Builders Club anymore, or not Builders Club Premium, all right. Um, obviously, you still keep your group, so you're still fine. Um, you can advertise your group even without uh, premium, so you should be good to go. So there you go. I'm gonna name or add. Um, There you go. Now we're going to select the image. Add. Alright, I'm going to find the, what's it called? So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so 
there you go, guys. Um, you have uploaded your uh, clothing ad or uh, whatever. Um, just realize that um, it's on pending approval, meaning that Roblox is making sure that this is a proper um, ad that they can show to people, right? Because keep in mind, the uh, these advertisements do show up, as you can see, it shows right here, it shows right here, so it shows um, on everyone's screen, really, so they're just making sure it is appropriate for their uh, website, you know, nothing inappropriate, so when someone do come across any of these ads, they don't, you know, click on it and, you know, they get scammed or whatever. Alright, so wait until the pending uh, thing, and uh, yeah, you should be good to go. Um, again, make sure you do have five or more uh, Robux, because you can see total bid right here. Um, the what bid is is that um, it basically how much robux you put into these ads. So these red these ads uh, run to about twenty four hours, so like almost a full day, or it is a full day. What am I saying? So yeah, these these ads run for one whole day. All right. So um, if you guys bid, so let's say a thousand robux. That should be that should be like almost ten thousand people uh, seeing your ads. So yeah, as you can see, in impressions right here. Um, impressions are the total people, or the yeah, that's those are the people that see um, that show up on their screen. The ads, of course. So like right here, this is an impression because it's on my screen, All right? So the higher you bid or AKA the higher, uh, the more Robux you put into these ads, the uh, the higher or the more it's just it's gonna show your ads. All right, so yeah, if you guys have like I don't know, like a thousand Robux, I would say you can bid at least a hundred or three hundred on this, and you should be getting about like ten thousand impressions from this. It's really good. Um, it shows you how many people have been clicking on your ads, as you can see right here. Um, this cool looking ad that I made. Yeah, um, it already has 21 and I bid uh, a total of 71 Robux. Alright, so... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I rephrased this. It's not gonna be approved yet. Yeah, it's still not approved. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to wait, guys. Um, so, yeah, I have a whole playlist, guys, on... Uh, on Roblox tutorial, you guys want to go check that out. It's going to be the end screen. It's going to show up right now. Um, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button because we're trying to reach three thousand subscribers, guys. Three thousand subscribers. If you guys want to join the miles on the three thousand, you know, win Robux and all that cool stuff. Um, also, I want to see more tutorials like this. Make sure you do leave a like and subscribe, and also leave a comment below on what video I should make next. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys are just the best. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.